You've met Ron Placone before. He came here once to give a talk, but this time he's going to be showing off his uh, stand-up comic skills. So let's welcome up Ron Placone. Give him some love, everybody. All right. Good morning. How are we? I, uh, so I don't know if you guys know this, but here at Sunday Assembly, when they pick the comedic interlude, uh, they try to pick somebody that has something a little bit in common with the theme. And uh, one of the themes coming up in the future is uh, women's sexuality. So uh, despite how little I know about astrophysics, which is nothing, <laughs> the fine folks at Sunday Assembly assume that I know even less Be why I'm still single, guys, huh? Huh? No, actually, before I moved down here, I was uh, I was engaged. Uh, did not work out. I'm okay though. I uh, here's the thing: if you're gonna get engaged soon, do not do this. I did this. It is bad luck. I proposed the same day I got the ring. Don't do that. It's bad luck. But I was intimidated. I had that ring, and I was like, "Wow, this is by far the most expensive thing I have ever gotten from the pawn shop." So I had to do it that night. And as soon as I heard a yes, I had mixed feelings. So I should have known it wasn't going to work out. <laughs> I did. I had mixed feelings. Like, first, I felt a lot of joy that somebody agreed to marry me. Then I felt a lot of sadness at watching somebody I care about make such a crappy life decision. <laughs> so it worked out. I used to live in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, I'm not a religious guy. I don't know if that's necessary to say into a microphone here, but uh, <laughs> I'm not. I'm, I'm part of the church of I don't know and neither do you, so let's just be nice to each other. That's kind of where I'm at. I, uh, yeah. I'm glad you guys are on board. It never really caught on because our holidays were pretty lame. You know, it was just, <laughs> just a couple people walking around like, I don't know, maybe want to get coffee. That was it. it was, I think we need some killer holidays. That's the thing. You know what? Since I'm in a room, a uh, uh, fellow free-thinking folk, that's what we need. We need some killer holidays. I have a suggestion. We got to have a skeptic solstice. That's what we need. That's a, dude, every summer in June, we have like three days where we just like, and we give a gift each day, make it a party, you know? Happy summer skeptic solstice. Maybe it's, there's a god out there, or maybe it's just a bunch of stories revolving around the sun. Either way, here's an Xbox, Timmy. <laughs> People would ask me what it was like uh, not being a religious guy living in the South. And Nashville's a pretty, uh, pretty open town. Like, it's pretty live and let live. But every now and again, I would have an experience I was not used to. This woman came up to me once. First question out of her mouth. She goes, hey, do you go to church? Uh, and I answered her honestly. I said, no, I don't. I don't have a problem with anyone that does. I just like the NFL and feel like I have enough friends. So. <laughs> and she didn't like my answer. She was like, well, you better pray to Jesus and ask him to change you. And I was like, this, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know how to respond. I just looked back at her and I was like, this is the weirdest lap dance I've ever had. <laughs> it's just a little bit different down there. I don't know. It's just a little. I try, I try to seek the truth. I really do. I, uh, I have read the Bible cover to cover because uh, YOLO. I read that whole thing. I read that whole thing cover to cover, and I don't know. Like I said, I don't know any of you, but uh, I, I do think there's totally a chance that a bunch of rich people made that up so poor people wouldn't kill them. I don't know, but I do think, I do think there's a chance that all, that's all it is. And we don't know, all right? There's a lot of things that we have never seen in our existence uh, as a human species. We have never seen uh, waters part. We have never seen somebody rise from the dead. We have also never seen rich people lie and conspire to get what they want. So we don't know. <laughs> But I don't know. We, the, the world is crazy right now, and, and I do think that, uh, that we really need to come together now more than ever. And I, I saw this on social media the other day in response to Orlando and everything that's been going on as of recent. Someone's like, I can't believe people are talking about gun control instead of focusing on the lives that are lost. Focusing on the lives that are lost. I don't understand that. That's like saying, I can't believe people are talking about how to more efficiently run food banks instead of focusing on all the people that starve to death. Like, I just don't get it. Like, it's like, ah, oh, sorry you starved to death. Wish we could do something to help you. Thoughts and prayers. 
That's my one public service announcement I want to give. If you post thoughts and prayers anywhere, you should be required by law to make a cash donation to somebody that's doing something about what you're thinking and praying about. I'm Rob Placone. Thank you. I appreciate you.